Welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This channel is dedicated to answering key questions that you have related to electrical and life safety. Today, I'm gonna to be answering a question about sprinkler omissions in closets. And I'm gonna be using NFPA Link, which is our digital access to NFPA codes and standards in order to be able to answer that question. Now, the question is related to when can I omit sprinklers in closets? Because NFPA 13 has some guidance, but then there's a new section that was added to 13 that I want to talk about that kind of reminds the designer to check other codes or standards to see if an omission can be done in another based on another uh, code or standard. So I created a bookmark collection here going over some sprinkler closet modifications and um, I'm going to be talking about NFPA 101, so I titled it 101 Sprinkler Closet Modifications right here. Now, first, I want to look at the requirements in NFPA 13. So that's 925. 925 says that sprinklers are not required in closed closets, linen closets, or pantries within dwelling units in hotels and motels where the area of the space doesn't exceed 24 square feet and the walls and ceilings are surfaced with non-combustible or limited combustible material. So notice here, hotels and motels. So that's just hotels and motels that we're looking at for NFPA 13 when we're omitting sprinklers based on that size. There's another requirement here, which is talking about hospital closets, and that's going anything less than six square feet, provided we meet some depth requirements other, uh, that's outlined in NFPA 13 in this section here. But I wanna look at section 9253. It's a new section, the 2022 edition of NFPA 13, saying that sprinklers are not required in closets and pantries where other governing laws, codes, or standards permit their omission. This is just a reminder to designers to make sure you check other laws, codes, or standards to see if you can permit the omission of sprinklers in different areas. Specifically here, it's closets and pantries. That's because NFPA 13 is simply the standard for designing and installing sprinkler systems. It doesn't tell you when they need to be installed. It's gonna be another law, code, or standard that says, hey, you've got to install sprinkler systems. So you wanna make sure you check that law coder standard to see if it has any other omissions. And in this case, I'm going to be talking about NFPA 101. Which NFPA 101 is going to require sprinkler systems for specific occupancies when they reach specific triggers or based on you know the layout and setup of that building. So first I want to talk about existing board and care facilities, both large and small. So large facilities, if I've got prompt or slow evacuation capabilities, I'm not required to put sprinklers in closets that don't exceed 24 square feet, provided I finish that area with non-combustible or limited combustible material. Now, if I've got a small existing residential board and care facility, the same thing exi exists here, prompt or slow evacuation, not exceeding 24 square feet, but it, the requirement here is that I finish it with lath and plaster or materials providing a 15 minute thermal barrier of that closet. So next, we've got existing hotel and dorms. Again, NFPA 13 has hotels and motels. So this is existing hotels and dorms. We've got a requirement in guest rooms and in guest suites, sprinkler installations shall not be required in closets that don't exceed 24 square feet and in bathrooms uh, not exceeding 55 square feet. That's not what I'm necessarily talking about in this uh, video here, but we're just looking at that 24 square feet now for existing hotels and dorms and then we've got existing apartments and new apartments i'll show you the existing apartment requirement here in individual dwelling units sprinklers are not required to be installed in closets that don't exceed 24 square feet so we're seeing that 24 square feet be used either 24 or 12 but if i've got a closet that contains a washer or dryer furnace or other um, equipment then i do need to put in a sprinkler regardless of the size of that and then new apartments in buildings sprinklered throughout by NFPA 13. Uh, closets that are less than 12 square feet in individual dwelling units are not required to be sprinklered. So in a new apartment, the closets have to be a little bit smaller, about half the size, for me to be able to omit those sprinklers. But again, if I have other equipment, washer, dryer, furnace, or other things like that, then I've got to put sprinklers in those systems. 
or in those closets. And then the last one I, I wanna talk about is new and existing lodging and rooming. So I'm gonna go ahead and open, open this one up in book view because it's actually three requirements. I've, I bookmarked it, marked them all separately, but I wanna um, go through these together line by line here. So in building sprinklered throughout within a P13, closets less than 12 square feet in area aren't required to be sprinklered. So that's for uh, lodging and rooming houses. In building sprinkler in accordance with NFPA 13, so uh, containing equipment, again, washer, dryer, furnace, or water heaters, I've got to put a sprinkler in regardless of the size of that closet. But then if I've got an existing lodging or rooming house, I can go up to 24 square feet for those closets. So that's a, a brief overview of those emission requirements for closets in NFPA 101. Again, I'm not saying it's full exhaustive of all of those specific requirements, but I did want to go over highlighting most of those residential requirements there. And I hope this gives you, you know, some good insight into looking into other codes and standards and, and sort of if something's going to require a sprinkler system to be installed, it might have some other allowances or modifications to that design, you know, based on you know what you're designing to. So if you want more information on how you can use NFPA Link to look at more of those requirements and learn more about you know, all of NFPA's codes and standards, go ahead and go to nfpa.org link.